electric company repair crews across the UP are busy tonight trying to repair power lines knocked down by strong winds, and that system started last night with a lot of wind. Upco says about 150 customers are still without power. That is down from about 1,000 earlier today. The active weather making its way through the UP was spawned by the same storm that caused severe weather throughout the Midwest over the weekend. Winds in excess of 60 miles per hour were reported along the shoreline of Lake Superior. It's beautiful to look at, but boy, is it cold out there. Well, obviously, we've had a pretty big storm move through the upper Great Lakes here over the last day and a half or so. And, you know, we wouldn't call some of these storms that we see in the fall the gales in November if a lot of wind didn't come along with them. And this storm was very typical of maybe on the higher end of a, a typical gale type of event. Some areas east of Marquette are expected to pick up several inches of lake effect snow. This could make travel a bit more difficult for some residents. And with the wind blowing the snow around, obviously travel may be a little tricky in some places. If people use their common sense and just slow down and take some time and get to place to place, everybody should be okay. Temperatures are not expected to reach the 50s again anytime soon, but the weather should be a little calmer, even though it will be cold through the middle part of this week.